This is the most broken offense in Madden 23. There is honestly no good way to stop this offense. You can run the ball very effectively. You can pass RPOs very effectively. And if you have the good enough receivers, you can throw Ags one-on-one -on -one very effectively. We're gonna be in the spread playbook and the formation is gun monster. So what you want are two fast receivers right here and right here. So I'm gonna have Jamison Williams at one of them. And I'm gonna have Amon Ross St. Brown as the other two guys that could get out of there. Now, the three plays that you're gonna be looking at is PA Wheels, RPO Zone Alert, and Fake Raw Receiver Screen. The play that we're gonna attack, though, the play that we're gonna come out in, the bread and butter of this offense is RPO Zone Alert. And if this video gets 500 likes, then I will give away five free ebooks in the comment section to someone that comments ebook down below. Underdog Fantasy is the best daily fantasy app on the market. You can win up to 20 times your money all by putting higher on lower on a player's projections. For example, the NBA playing starts today. Underdog Fantasy has Jimmy Butler points at 27 and a half. All you have to do is press higher or lower, pair that up with some of your other picks and you can win up to 20 times your money. I post my picks every day on Twitter, and if you use code GOLDED, you can get up to a 100% deposit match up to $100. Good luck on y'all picks. The first play we're going to look at is the RPO Zone Alert. First thing you always want to do is run the ball just to get a feel of what they're coming out in. As you can see, this run is so good. To our point, they're going to have to stack the box. This is one of the best runs in the game, especially just because of the formation. And the way they come out is so different to me. This word makes Madden fun because if you see a mismatch in the box right here, honestly, you can just run the ball every play and be successful. So I'm gonna show you the one run one more time. You can ID any one, ID any one of these dudes. M middle ID that one, and as you can see, you're picking up at least three yards a pop, at least. And that's if they have enough guys in the box right here. You could, you could do math. Three to one, run the ball. You can get as much yards as you want. So all depends what type of defense your opponent comes out in, but that run is very explosive. So say, okay, you're running the ball. Now they stack everybody in the box. Watch this RPO. It's like a little glitch. The defender always run past them and he just cuts up field for the easy game. I'll show it to you one more time. Look right here. You have people blocking, you have some speedsters. You can get out of there if you know what you're doing, if you have a good stick. You know, I have some of the best stick in the world. So honestly, that's very easy for me. But once again, look at this. And as you can see, he missed it right there. But you already have two blockers, especially if they stack the box now. It wouldn't be smart to throw it to the left right here because they have four defenders on that side. So honestly, look at the right or look at running the ball. So right here, we're gonna look at the right side, boom. The glitch happened where he always run past the ball and you can try to break this to the crib. So I'm gonna try to see if I can throw a left right here. As you can see, this looks like a spot where you could go left or right, but I'm gonna just go left right here in general. Boom. And as you can see, once again, sometimes that glitch does happen, but a lot of the time you either just run the ball very successfully or you can throw the RPO. Now, that is the main play that you can abuse the whole game, as you can see right here. If it was a real game, I would run the ball because there's only two people in the box. But the only decent play is this PA Wheels play. This PA fake wide receiver screen play just throw it out the window. This play is not good at all. You want to use this play. Now, the reason I say that is because you can get a glitchy animation where the two outside dudes release and go upfield. As you can see, you can get some type of animation, but you will have to highball it and try to aggressive catch them. So I will show you this one more time. Something like this. And as you can see, you could throw X, try to aggressive catch just like that by pressing L1 highball and, and triangle to add catch. You can throw mix in something like that if you have good enough receivers. I will try to triangle this time, lead pass it. Not leave past it that terribly like Jared Goff did, but you can leave past it to the sideline and try to get a glitchy animation. But 
These two stop routes are very good against man coverage and zone coverage for some reason. So if you can run something like this every now and then to pass, this will be very, very deadly. And once again, look at circle wide open right there. And them two fade routes are maybe just if they run commit. Because if you're running the ball like this at a high level, maybe your opponent says, you know what, let's run commit. And what a run commit does, it blitzes all 11 guys on defense. And if they do that, then that will just leave X or triangle wide, wide open. So that will be the end of the video. Put Jared Goff in the comment section if you made it this far. Keep God first, keep grinding. And if you want to see a defense that is cheating, click this video right here.